is February 4th, and this is Gold Robotics. Starting on Bobby's thing today. Got, okay, yeah, we'll start. So we both started working on this back lift, mm -hmm. but it proved to be a challenge. For Bobby? Yes, for me, especially. So we, we started working on it, and the thing we had yesterday, I was not really feeling it. And so, and then Reese also has had to change some stuff with it, like some stuff he didn't like with it. Yeah, I got my dry train all put together. Yeah, yeah, no, no, like, yeah, let's take a look at Reese's stuff first. Uh, yeah, okay. So, today. Look at I, that, look at today that. Today, I that began out so with nice. just building the rest of my dry train to where I have my little stripes and my things on. Then I put some extra supporting bars, temporary, of course. Except you don't use star nuts for some reason. Star nuts just come out. They're annoying. I would rather just spend some. Anyways, anyways, Bobby uh, worked on, while I was bu building us, Bobby worked on some backflip designs. And I didn't really like it. And I didn't either. He didn't either. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to go back to what we originally got. I thought it was good. And so what I did is I went back to my original uh, plan and I spiffed it up a little bit, made it a little bit better. And then now I'm going to, and I started thinking of ways to attach it. First, I was like, okay, let me just put some put some bearings in on each side, put an axle through it, and it can pivot. But then I realized we're putting an entire base on it, and we're tilting it, and it's going to hold that for a very long time. Those axles aren't going to be able to handle that. And so what we did is we decided to use hinges instead. We're going to build a bar across the back, put some hinges on it, and so uh, the thing tilts on the hinges, and that's our, that's the plan. I put a bar here, it's not the right size, and it's not in the right place, but that's a tomorrow thing, I have a note on the board. I started out trying to build the back lift, and then I, got, I ran about into the same problem that Reese did, and then Reese got the idea to put hinges on his thing, and so, um, and so yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. I'll show you the thing, because I, I, I didn't like give up, but I said I'm not getting anywhere with this right today. So I decided to do, and also since we're working on something very similar, we if, work together. If, we're, if he's working on something trying to figure it out, and I'm working on some, the same thing trying to figure it out, then we might as well just divide and conquer. So I'll show you what I did today. This is... Um, so our previous locks, I'll show you, that was more like this, okay, and we, yeah, we went rotation like that, and then we dug down into the base, right, so, okay, like, like this, right, we pivot into the base. The problem with this is if you pivot right here, right, and you miss it, you miss this, and you can't pull, right, but you have to hit it inside you had to hit it at least inside, so you kind of got to be pretty close. So after doing like some uh, research on a design, because a lot a lot of this is just looking at other people, what other people's done, because that's one of the advantages of the do, building this late season is we can be inspired by other people's plots. So <laughs> in, uh, in the process, I've been to actual, but this is our current system, right? So it's like this. And it goes down into, no, wait, what the lift? And it goes down into, like this lines up, and it goes down into here now, instead of the hook system. And then another thing that does is once, oh, we don't have pneumatics hooked up right now, but once it goes down, here, can you hold this? Okay. Yeah. So a problem we had, okay, go back up, like straight horizontal with it. Okay, so it was like this, and then a problem we had, I'm trying to pull this good is people would go up with it and it'd knock it out of our old end effector like this. But with this new end effector, I know it's hard to see and we don't have pneumatics yet, but we tried it out with pneumatics and it, it was pretty good about this. But whenever you push up, it hits the bottom of it and it doesn't want to go out. And so that was a problem we fixed. As well as the main thing is that if we're, let me back up like that. Anyway. So if this is like right here, like further out, and this goes down, it pulls it in. And so we have a little bit more room for error, and it's it's just going to be a lot more nice to play with. Along with the fact that beginning the match, we can start out it start with it like right here, and that's like very much in perimeter, mm -hmm. and that's really nice as far as like staying out of the way and everything. So, and all, good design. so things we might add a little bit later, 
is instead of going a full bar across in the back, maybe not have a middle section right here and maybe go out with these. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to try out with this indepector still, as well as like um, maybe like putting toolbox liner like you have before so it has more stick. Maybe put a toolbox liner on the bottom so it has more, just different stuff that we always need to try out to see if we can get a little better hold on it. But that's it for today. That's our progress. So we'll see you all next time. Bye.